Thank you for joining this lesson. Kindly subscribe to Shifting Grades and share the link with your friends. We are going to study a question which is telling us to determine the interquartile range of some set of data here. So what we call interquartile range, the interquartile range is usually the difference between the upper quartile and the lower quartile. The upper quartile is called Q3, the lower quartile is called Q1. To identify Q1 and Q3, we first of all arrange the data in ascending order such that we have from 32, 33, 34, 37. Uh, from 37, we can go to 44. I think 44 will be the next. From 44, 45. Then from 45, we can get to 50. Then another 50. Then from 50 and 50, we can have 50, 52. But here we have 49, sorry. So we have 49 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we have 10 items. So we can first of all identify Q2, which is the median. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. Such that the median is a value between 44 and 45. And that median, which is called Q2, will be 44.5. Therefore, now that we have Q2, which divides the set of data into two equal portions, then we can get Q1, Q1, which is the median of the lower set of data after it has been divided by two by the, by the median. Therefore, this lower set of data, its median is called Q1. And therefore, Q1 for this set of data will be 34. Then on the other side, we can get Q3. Q3 by getting the median, the median of this set. So the median will be 50 because we have 45, 52, 49, 50. We remain with 50 at the center. So the difference between Q3 for us to get IR in the quartile range, when we take Q350 minus Q134, this will give us in the quartile range. So the in the quartile range will be 16. Thank you for following. Kindly subscribe and share the link.